Hello, it's Sarah. I Today's video is a project share. Some more eggs that I've painted. I just wanted to share them with you. Um, also got another pattern packet and uh, a, couple, a couple other things too. I got this little bucket at Michael's. I was thinking of painting it or putting, I don't know, jazzing it up a little, but it's where I'm keeping my eggs right now. So let me just start to share. It all started with this one. This is the, the old G, the OG. <laughs> Barb Nielsen um, design. Had forever, you know the story. Um, don't know the name of the packet. I think she, she shared with me that this was actually a design that was on the cover of the Decorative Artist magazine in 1990, I believe. So, let me just make a space. So I had been painting them on these wooden eggs that I got from Michaels. Um, they came in a three pack. So I, this specific pattern that I had um, has four eggs, four egg designs and this. Remember, I forgot about this. Let me share this first. Um, I could, I could start over, but we'll get there. So this was my first one I did on the back of a Dollar Tree egg, remember? Um, it took me a little bit to get, <coughs> excuse me, comfortable with the washes. Washes are a little bit different vibe. They're kind of like a float, but only with it's more water and a little bit of paint. It's like a tint, actually. Um, so this was the first one. Then I had Joe paint me, I'm sorry, cut me one on the Glowforge. So this is more of an oval, and it fit the whole pattern. By the way, I just went to the dentist, so my mouth is a little numb. So if I'm talking weird, that's why. I was able to get the background lighter. Um, I still, down here, isn't as light as I would have hoped, uh, but I'm a heavy hand, and I accept that about my art, you know, and, and it looks pretty regardless. It's just when I'm doing a new technique or something, I try to get it as close to the to the artist's rendition because that's the way they intended it to be. But that being said, nobody knows that but me. <laughs> so flowers bloom, Robin's saying goodbye winter, hello spring. Um, I think this pattern might be called Hello Spring. I'll try to find it by the end. I have so much happening. Um, and I love it. It's a delightful little thing. Barbara Nielsen's little characters are so lovely. Um, I just love it. So um, now the eggs. So this that pattern came with four egg designs. And I only did three of them because, like I said, the egg, I just had three eggs, so I only did three. Um, but that being said, I've done a lot more now. I say that being said a lot, I think. All right, so this is the first one. I'll come in for a close-up. I think these would be considered goose eggs. I'm not sure because there is a smaller size that could be considered a hen egg, like a chicken egg, a goose egg. So just use your common sense. And I kind of think... She had two sizes of patterns, and I did use the bigger pattern for this egg. So I'm thinking they're kind of in, in line with what she used as well. So this one has the little bunny and the chick. I'll come in a little closer. Um, I didn't put the flower in his hand because I just thought it was too busy. And then there's just dots around the outside. We got that one. Then we got just the bunny. I put both flowers in her in his his or her hands. This one's pink. Then I did just the chicky. And you can tell I smudged a little bit of ink here. I must have not liked my float, and when I went to clean it up, I smudged the ink. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more. <clears throat> I just love, they're so precious. Okay, so those three were from that packet. Then, and I actually got the physical, okay. So if you go to her website, and I will put it in the link below, 
Barb Nielsen Designs. You can, there are downloadable patterns as well. And this is one of them. This is the 12 eggs. Um, but I bought it, she sent it to me, here it is, a dozen spring eggs. I downloaded it and I bought it. Oops, let me go back up, so sorry. Because I was too impatient. I, I, listen, I'm a work in progress. Anywho, look at this packet. You get designs for 12 different eggs. Not only that, she gives you both sizes. So if you pictures, color pictures, um, but if you, you know, and I blew it up because I'm going to do it on my monstrosity of an egg. Look at this. This is from Michael's 2. So just know, they didn't have anything this size, but I haven't been to Hobby Lobby yet. And I am due for a ride to Hobby Lobby because I want to look for a 12 by 12 tray. I have uh, something else I need to paint. Um, but this is so big. So I just wanted to bump it up a little bit because I have the room. So I blew up the design. Um, but it, it comes with, like I said, the two sizes. Um, I have half the pages here because everything's all over my desk. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> See, look. This is considered probably the hen, the chicken egg, and this would be considered the duck egg size. So just use whatever fits for your eggs that you have. And if, see that says for hen eggs and for goose. Um, this is probably for the hen. Anywho, and then you can bump it up or down depending on the surface that you're putting it on. I also thought that I could use the really enlarged one for just a, a single. So just like these eggs all have like an oval, this could just be a single for him. So there's a lot of ways you can break it down. Thank you, Barb Nielsen, because guess what? There's so much happiness here. I'm just too excited. All right, so this is happening soon. I have a lot of errands I'm running. I got to the dentist, but I wanted to make this video for you guys because I know I forget, and then it's been a while. So I've been working on these, and I have two different designs that I did from this pattern in two different sizes. So I'll come back down. I also did this, painted this egg in lavender just because I love it. I love purple. Um, it's really, really pretty and I just, I don't know, I had this color and I, so I changed, I think originally the egg was supposed to be blue, like a light blue and the dress was blue, but I just painted it whatever color. I think this one is a little more purple with pink on the bottom and this one I did pink. I was able to get the background very light and I was able to keep that modeled effect which it's easier on a bigger egg be I'll be honest on the smaller eggs my heavy hand comes into play so when I float around with the dark night blue it just took on a darker hue but it's still so cute I just love her little characters so those two and then I did these two <coughs> hen Goose. No, hen. Yeah, goose, I think. So this is just the little house, and I painted these green. This, I think these were supposed to be green. But I'm just loving the the um, pastel nature of these eggs. They're just, they just make me so happy. I have some blue ones on my desk all prepped and ready to go. A big one, a small one, another purple in the little. But I did just do this one last night, the big, the big guy. I'm going to try and do one of those wraparound ones, more similar to this. Um, so I, it gets based all white, and then I'm just going to put the blue on the top and bottom. I think it has the checkerboard, so very similar to this. Um, I just, I am in love. They make me so happy. So my husband said he wants to take them to work. I'm like, no, I can't let them go yet. All right. So they all live in my little Easter basket. Let me reach over here and grab this. By the way, I did end up cutting out, just to base coat these, the little hearts out of like a piece of um, file folder. 
And then I could just trace around this with my chalk pen just to get the base coat done. It just makes it a little easier because it really is kind of, to, to do this work on the rounded surface is a bit of a challenge, but it's, it's workable. It's not that difficult. Um, but having these little cutouts to just get the, the shape of that really helped. So I did that. The, this one is another Barbara Nielsen pattern, these little angels. And they're meant to be on a, uh, I'm going to find, the, here, see, this is the packet that came a dozen spring eggs. This is the actual pattern packet. Let me, so look at all these pictures she sends. Like, this is crazy. I think this was 10 bucks, which is still so fair. And look at these pictures, because I'm going to be doing this one. I'm going to do both. I want to do the bunnies too. I think I have two of these big eggs prepped. So I'll be doing these big guys. But she gives you all these pictures for reference, because it really helps to have, a, I'm a visual learner as well, so I can read it, but seeing it really just adds another element to um, how I learn. But look how delightful. I mean, like I said, this could just be by itself, and so could that. OMG, I can't. They are so, they make me so happy. So that's what I'm into these days is, you know, it's funny, at the dentist, they have, it's a beautiful dentist office, um, and I don't like the dentist as a rule. Um, anyway, I have a broken tooth, and um, it's going to be a while, but he fixed it for today. He helped me. Um, but they had a TV in the little room, and, I, and it was the news, and I was just like, can we just turn off the news? <laughs> like, I don't want to hear all the shootings in Philadelphia anymore. Like, I get it, but I, I can't. I, I can't. Um, so this is another one of hers. It's called Angel Plant Sticks. She has a couple. See, it says packet number one. There are a few, but I just love them. I can't wait because it's, again, all done in washes, right? So it's a bit different for me. Now, that being said, I could base coat everything in the way I do a Plum Purdy design, you know, the same thing, and then just shade and highlight it. I'm sure it would look fine, but using the pen that ink pen, it just has a different vibe. So I got, this is the, the tracing. I got Joe to cut me, and it's not exact. On the Glowforge, the little, I guess they're called plant sticks. So I would probably have to glue a stick to the back of it. Um, and I forgot to get him to make a hole for me to make a little, but I might put a, a hanger on it and just let him hang on a wall but I mean it's not exact but I think I'll be able to um, trace that on there and have a little angel I'm so excited I, I can't wait to show you these like joy I could put love I was even thinking this one says have a happy day nothing wrong with that but I could put one day at a time keep it simple you know like give it to God um, those of you who watch my channel know that I, I love 12-step recovery. It's, it's changed my life, and I can't say enough good things about it. And if you have had issues with someone in your life, anywho, do it for yourself. It's the best. Speaking of which, this is, our, this is the forum. This is the April ed edition of the forum, which is, um, look at that watercolor painting. I always feel better. But this is a monthly magazine that Al-Anon puts out. I love it so much. Okay, so that was, those were the two that I just, and I just ordered a rooster recipe card thing that is so gorgeous. I ordered, um, I forget, I don't even know. Like, I think I ordered like three or four more of her packets because I, I don't buy pattern packets that much anymore. Just Renee Mullins. And then this was the other one that I ordered. This is from... Rosemary West, who is, I've taken a class with Rosemary West. She's from Lubbock, Texas. So shout out to Rosemary West. Um, this, it, it reminded me of a mandala, and you know how I love mandalas. And it also would look really nice in my bathroom because um, 
I have red and black in there as, and they're, they're decorative pieces. I think it's on the video, but look, it's a tray. Evidently, this tray is at Hobby Lobby, so I need to go over there. It's a 12 by 12 square tray. She ends up putting feet on the bottom of it, which I probably won't do because I'm going to hang it on the wall. Um, and it's just, again, it's different. It's not my normal go-to style of painting. A um, lot more stroke work. Here's a blown up picture. Um, so a lot more stroke work. It's considered toll painting, I would say, this style. Um, folk art, a lot more traditional, these flowers, the tulips. and um, So I'm just excited. There's dry brushing. And that's what I'm loving these days is trying new, getting back to new things. So I, I just, once I feel like I've been there, done that so much, I need to go back and uh, play with some something new again. So I just wanted to share that. What else? Other than that, life is good. Everything's good. I'm just excited. I can't wait. So I've traced this pattern. Here's what I wanted to tell you. I did get the pen. So I ordered two of these pens. Now I'm going to put the link in the description box for you to go to um, Barbara Nielsen's website. There is, and she actually sent me the printed version of it, which I don't, here, right here. She sent me this with um, my pattern packets. So for pens, this is what I ordered, the Perma Writer 2, I'm pretty sure. Is that what this is called? No, this is the Molotov. Here, the Molotov Black Liner 0.05, because what I ordered is the Colinor Rapida sketch. So she likes the Rapida liners because you can get such fine points. So I ordered this. It's a 0.25, which is super small. So let me show you that. Oh, it's, is it in here? Because it's not, I already messed it up, you guys. You know, those of you who watch my channel, you hear it is. You know that I am so rough on my <laughs> tools. So let me just show you. Hopefully it'll write. But it isn't the top of the line, it's this like middle of the line where you can reload the ink so you never have to replace this. You just keep filling it and it comes with the ink. But the nib, I may be able to just replace the nib. And it looks like this has some ink. Yeah, there's some bleed over because I've been keeping it stored like this because it wasn't writing for me. See? It's such a fine tip, and I think I already pressed too hard. There's plenty of ink in there. Something's going on with the nib, and it's it's a bugger. It bugs me. I mean, I think it's just around $24, so just FYI. And there's really no instructions on the what you get. when. And I ordered mine on Amazon. I did go to the Colinor YouTube page and kind of... Just watched how they load it, but oop, oop. I don't know what I did to the nib. I was able to do it on an egg for like a second, and then it stopped. But this is so fine that why she recommends these really fine lines is, now this is a 0 .5, 0 .05. So it's pretty thin. It's a pretty fine line. And I'm really trying to just press gently, like really not give it too much pressure. But like if I'm making a little bow, I'm going to come in because you can't see that. Um, but you see how you're able to get such, like if you're doing eyes, like an eye on a little tiny bunny. Oh, see, you need to have a tiny line. And this is as tiny as I can get it because this is the, let me see if I have, you know, and here's the thing. I have the, um, these guys, the Micron. Ugh, they have tons of these in all different colors, but let me think. That's an 05. 
let's see an 08 is probably oh that's thicker I, I never can figure out so like an 01 might be smaller than an 05 no it looks bigger um, but and this is permanent but the thing is it's the smudge ability and the actual so this is considered an 05 oh my god so much thicker so I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe it's not a .05. Maybe it's just a 5. I'll, I'll bet that's just a 5. So I need it to be like a .05. Anyway. But that's the reason she likes to have a very small point pen. Because to do those fine lines it really helps so I like this one I've never had one it's I shared let's see molotow.com got it from Amazon I ordered two so that I have if I break this nib I have another one um, yeah and I mean you're able to get so see these lines are pretty close together and I you know I've had coffee today but that's the idea. So say if I'm making checks, those aren't very close together. But you know, what if I wanted to make, I can't even see it, it's so small. <laughs> anyway, make little, so like on here, see these checks, they're not that big. Um, but all of this, I'm not sure, this looks like a pretty wide nib like it's thick is what I'm saying um, but I was still able to to make it look cute like see the eyes are kind of blobby they don't have the definition that I mean the dress looks pretty good I'll bet you if somebody lent me their rapidograph <laughs> or something I was able to get really small so that's the thing about the pens the other thing I wanted to say about that is I did end up getting some work um, not workable fixative this Krylon matte spray um, because before I varnished everything it the ink even though it's permanent and it, you let it set up and let it dry if you pull an acrylic sealer across it or varnish it could pick it up it reactivates the ink and it could pick it up so I really I used a workable fixative on the first batch I did and let me show you what happened I, I'm not sure if I put my name as an afterthought though because see the smudged I don't know if I can even if you're, you're seeing that but I might have finished everything and then just put my name and I put the date on the bottom real quick because I forgot to sign it and then varnished it so that might have been what happened I don't remember anywho all in all really enjoying really enjoying these um so I will, I'm going to get to work. I want to do an angel, I think. I'm like, I can't resist. Um, but I think I want to work on my big guy today. So I just need to measure the top and bottom off and put the blue up there. And then I can trace on my design with the Sorel um, blue tracing paper. Anywho, um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Spring is in the air in New Jersey. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.